What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and today is going to be a very very exciting day and also one of the saddest days of my Pokemon Go career because today is the final Rayquaza raid day um, that we're going to have in definitely a long long time so I'm definitely going to enjoy today. I got to throw at least one ball on every Rayquaza we do. I'm probably going to hit about 10 to 12 raids. That is always the goal for the raid hours. I'm going to do my best to get ourselves a shiny today or at least a hundo either or i gotta get one of them or maybe like a high shiny i don't know but really really excited for today i'm probably gonna say that like a hundred times i just can't wait to get myself i just can't wait for it to happen because i have a feeling i have a feeling today's gonna be a good last day it's gonna be our last hurrah but it's uh definitely the end of an era so without further ado let's hop into our final rayquaza raid hour and here we are taking down that first rayquaza right there down it goes uh, okay, 2191 is what we're hoping for, or the, of course the Black Dragon. I didn't get to see the IVs or the CP on this guy, so we're gonna go ahead and have to check it out now. Come on, we gotta move quickly today! Ah, uh, that would have been a great start to the video. 2140, it's gonna be really, really bad. I'll give it one excellent throw, and then we're gonna have to move on to the next raid. Like I said, I wanna be very, very efficient today, so 10 to 12 raids has gotta happen. One, two, and no way! Ah, oh, man, sorry Rayquaza. Gonna quick catch, and then hop in the next one. Rayquaza number two down right here, and we got ourselves a regular Rayquaza sitting at 2174. Actually, not going to be too bad. I will give this a ball or two, and then I'm going to move on. So I'll do one, <clears throat> I'll do one throw on camera, and then I'll do one quick catch, and then I'll hop into the next raid. And so I'm giving him two chances every raid. Ah, Rayquaza, you got to hook it up here. Uh, yeah. All right, quick catch, and then next raid. Gosh, I right, such a pain. Down goes Rayquaza number three here. Come on, baby. Hook it up, hook it up, hook it up, hook it up. Man, imagine if we get like two in, in, in this raid hour, that'd be insane. 2125, this Rayquaza right here is definitely not gonna be any good. Neither is that throw. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can grab it on this ball. I don't know if we've caught any. I guess we'll have to find out at the end. Didn't catch it on that one. That car is super, super cool. We're gonna go ahead and have to quick catch and then uh, move on to the next Rayquaza raid, but I'm just really happy about today. It's like bittersweet. It's bittersweet how, how awesome this run has been, but it's gotta end today and all right, I'll give you one more quick catch off camera, but we gotta go. Okay, so that kind of sucks. I aired out of that uh, third raid, so we lost our raid pass and we didn't even get to get the Rayquaza, but at least we got ourselves a regular Rayquaza to, to go ahead and try to catch again. 2142, I also did get a chance to check. We have caught none. Uh, <clears throat> wow, <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. We have caught none of the Rayquazas that we've thrown balls at, so we gotta do a little bit better, uh, especially at throwing, but this is gonna be raid number, ooh, I'm, I lost track now. Is it three or four? I don't know, but we're going in, and all right, Rayquaza. We're 20 minutes in, we've done, let's say, let's call it four raids. We're about to hop into another one right now, so I'm gonna give it this last ball, and then we're gonna go ahead and keep checking. We got we got it today, we got it. I, it's gonna, we're gonna make it happen, we have to, right? Next Rayquaza check right here, come on, please. Oh my God, dude, I've aired out of like two or three raids already, so it's been, it's been super, super annoying, but I'm gonna have to quick catch and move on to the next one. We're moving quickly today. Next Rayquaza down right here, and we got not a shiny IVs on this bad boy. 2137. <sighs> Let's move on. Rayquaza number whatever down right here, and we got ourselves. Finally, we got a regular Rayquaza. Finally, thank God. God. 2134. This one sucks. We move on. Another Rayquaza down and another regular Rayquaza. CP is 2160. Not bad. No, not bad, but not great. This has been kind of a rough start, man. It's definitely been a super rush because we're trying to get as many raids as possible, but a little bit of a rough start. We've already lagged out of two of them, which was which could have been two potential shinies or two potential hundos or shundos or whatever. So that definitely sucked a lot. But we're moving. We got about 15 minutes left. That could be probably two to four raids. You guys know the drill, so does Rayquaza. No, he doesn't, he forgot. Rayquaza, what's going on with you today, bro? 2161, 30% or 30 uh, CP off the 100% IV. Not gonna be a good one. I can't click for anything. I also can't see right now because the sun is super bright, but ah, luck is not great. Luck is not great right now. It's all good though. Oh, if I got that on the silver pineapple, I would've been so hyped. Okay, probably got like one, maybe two more, so we gotta move quickly here. And the next raid's not a shiny. I didn't even, I barely even got the check. 2141, 50 CP off the hundo, but not the, oh God, I suck. I, we're moving so quickly today, I'm like shaking. I'm trying to get stuff done. It's 50 CP off the hundo. I need it to be 2191, which is gonna be the 
Hundo. Mm. Tough day today. Tough sledding for sure. I don't even know if we've caught any of the Rayquazas. Uh, let's keep going. We're about to hop into the final Rayquaza raid of the day. Oh my gosh, today was a little, man, for, for, for the what today was, um, it, it was it was a pretty hectic day. A ton of the gyms that we usually raid at were closed for EX raids. Like like, an, like a weird amount of raids were closed, or gyms were closed today, so it made the routes a little bit harder. We didn't get as many raids, raids in as we wanted to, but overall, I had a good time. I had a lot of chances to get myself Shiny Rayquaza. I just want to see if I can get it done on the last day. If I don't, I don't care. I still got my four Shinies and counting, but just like that, oh, it's the last time I'm saying this, the Rayquaza is going to go down i appreciate you hanging out with me bro you my guy you know that uh it's, it's been a, it's been a long month but it's been a very very fun one can we get a hundo to wrap it up i don't even know what that was i just knew that that was so low i think that was a 21 23 or something like that i really want to get a shiny right now can i set myself up for success hook it up for the one time please no gosh darn it 21 16 is that a 10 10 10 why is that so low got a hit on rayquaza right there one two and three take it home baby ha ah, the final rayquaza catch for a long long time i might keep this bad boy i don't know 21 16 oh no it's a 10 10 13 gosh darn it that's so not that's so not like cool it would have been way cooler if it was a 10 10 10. Okay, well, down goes the final Rayquaza right there. The video's not over though. We got uh, brand new shinies in the game. We have new field research tasks, which actually are really, really good too. So I'm excited to talk about that and uh, a couple other things. So let's go ahead and get to that. And here we are fast forwarding to the next day. And we got a couple of races to do today. As you guys know, Ultra Bonus Week has started. Uh, it is today I'm recording this. It is Tuesday. So it is the second day of the Ultra Bonus Week 1. We have the Legendary Beasts, Raikou, Suicune, and Entei back in raids with their shinies available, and we're going to start off the adventure with a Suicune raid. We only got four of us in this raid right now, so this might be a little bit difficult. This might take a little bit of time, but we're gonna be all good. Down goes Suicune right there. Again, hoping for 1704, and the shiny would be pretty dope. I wouldn't be wouldn't be that upset if we got a shiny right now. Let's, I'll tell you that much. And 1680, 24 CP off the hundo. Not great. This might be like a like a mid mid to higher 80s, maybe even the lower 90s. We're gonna have to find out. Let's see if we can get ourselves a shiny here. I'm gonna try this trick that I always do, and it never works, but let's try it. Nope, didn't work. Okay, so that was a waste of uh, waste of energy. Uh, Suicune right here, 1680. Let me go ahead and grab this bad boy. Got a nice right there, not that great. Why do I feel like I got a good Suicune when it, when it was Suicune Raid Day? I don't know. I'm gonna sit here and actually get my excellence on my Suicune and see if we can grab it, because I feel like we'll take it down with just one excellent. What are you gonna do about it? Let me back up again. Um, there goes Suicune down on the first ball. Cat streak, you know what it is. IVs on it. Yeah, 15, 13, 10. Definitely not too great, but not, could be, could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Now we do have another raid after this. We also do have a Gligar on the nearby, a newly released shiny that we gotta go for. Where is that? I am gonna go check that before we go to the next raid. So we're gonna go ahead and check the Gligar, and then uh, we need, we have another raid after this. We're gonna have to find out what it is. Let's head over. And here we are going in on the next Legendary Beast raid, and unfortunately, it's a, another Suicune. Well, not unfortunately, well, kind of unfortunately, let's be honest. But just like that, it's got a little bit tight. Suicune is gonna go down right there. All right, hoping for 1704, that is the hundo. Should we look at it? Mm, no, nah, we're not gonna look at it. We're not gonna look at it. Let's see if we get some surprise surprises going give me those rare candies give me that hyper potion tms stardust give me all that good stuff we got 10 balls shiny right sweet coon are you possible no not today i mean it's possible but not today 1670 10 set or 10 cp off of the one we just got earlier let me give this one a horrible left-handed throw excellent throw set up for sweet coon we hit the excellent right there we're down to five balls so hopefully we can get it on one of these next ones one two and no okay excellent number two in a row let's see maybe just want a couple of them in a row Suicune I'm here for you baby one let's just take it home let's take it home yeah yeah we're good we're good like, come on like who else does that that's crazy uh down goes Suicune right there uh 1670 I'm gonna guess 12 13 uh 10 
13, 10, 14. Okay, probably better than what I said. Um, cool, so down goes Suicune right there. We gotta complete these. I'll definitely get the 15 Pokemon, so we'll show that off in this clip, and I'm pretty sure that has a shiny eligible, um, shiny eligible reward, which is nice. That was pretty much all the raids for this video because we do got a lot of news to talk about. Really exciting news too, but we gotta go talk about that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this task. All right, and like I mentioned, with this Ultra Bonus Week, we do have a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. We got a couple new shinies in the game. We got shiny Electrike in Pokemon Go, as you can see right here. There it is. And then shiny Manectric is black and gold. Super, super dope. Hopefully I can get this. Uh, I know it is part of some of the new research tasks, because that's probably my only chance, because I haven't seen one in the wild yet, but make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys got one. I already have got a lot of screenshots of them on Twitter, though. And then remember, we got shiny Sentry and shiny Gligar with this event as well, and we also got shiny Spinda. So we got technically four, if you're counting their families, seven new shinies in the in, in the last two days, which is absolutely phenomenal. A great opportunity to get yourself some shinies. So hopefully, uh, either you or I can get some shinies soon. And now let's go ahead and talk about the field research tasks, because there are a lot of them that have been added to the game, and the rewards are actually really, really good. I'm not going to read through all of these, but I'll go ahead and highlight some of the cool ones. Here are the research tasks and encounters for September and October. So uh, some notable ones I see here is that Catch 15 Pokemon gives you a Sandshrew, which is a great opportunity. Use 5 Berries is now Snorunt. Use 10 Nanibs is now Scyther. Make 3 Great Throws. Any of the encounters can be shiny, so it's a really, really good one to do. Why are we Why are we dark right now? Can we get lighter? Alright, this is good. But uh, a lot of the rewards can be shiny. I think more than not, um, they can be shiny. So that's actually really good. I love doing that because I love doing research tasks. I'm like kind of addicted. I always want to get them done. We also do have uh, 3 of them to do today. I had to make 3 Great Throws one. The Cash 15 Pokemon, and then another one I don't remember, but I'm excited to open those on camera. Here's the next page, because there's still another page of research tasks. My, make five great curveball throws in a row is still Spinda, but it is now form number three with the shiny being available. Um, Onyx and Larvitar are still the great and excellent throws in a row. You get Aerodactyl if you win five raids, which is, I don't know if that's new or not. I, I feel like last last month it was something else, but Aerodactyl is the reward for winning five raids, and the Electrike is a reward for a new research task, which is to battle another trainer twice. Great way to get Electric though, and again, the shiny's out, so that's that's pretty fire right there. And then Evolve a Pokemon is now Cubone. And then here's the final research task page. Power up a Pokemon five times to any of the Gen 1 starters. Send 10 gifts is Sneasel. Trade a Pokemon is Bronzor. Transfer three Pokemon is Sableye. And earn three candies is Ponyta. A lot of shinies in there. A lot of shinies in there. I don't think any of those tasks are too hard. Um, they're all pretty simple. The video is not over yet. We still got to do our three research, or we got to claim our three research tasks. So here we go. Let's go ahead and claim our first one. This is the one for Sintru. Come on, please. Ah. I'll go ahead and cash them later, but for now, we're going to go ahead and claim them. This is the great throws in a row. Drowsy. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I remember this one. This is to catch uh, three different psychic Pokemon or something like that. I think it's three psychic Pokemon. Um, there's Drowsy right there, also shiny eligible. And finally, here is the make three great throws. Let's see if we can get it. I like the pull for this one. Ah, oh, it's Onyx. That was make three great throws in a row. My apologies. So none of those were shiny, but I wanted to open them on camera in case they were. Um, again, I do love all the field research tasks this time around. I think it's going to be super, super good. It kind of makes up for Eevee. Not really, but kind of. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. I'm pretty happy with how this, uh, with this Ultra Unlocks going. This is going to be a crazy, crazy month, so I'm really excited. We also do have a raid hour tonight featuring all the legendary beasts. If you guys want to go do that, that is going to go from 6 to 7 p.m. your local time. Um, I'm definitely going to take part in that, so stay tuned for that video tomorrow, but I will see your faces later. Deuces.